Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about differentiability or rather non-differentiability because we're going to be looking at some situations in which a function can't be differentiated at a point. And these will range from some obvious cases that you'll be familiar with to some other cases that you may not have contemplated. Let's discover the maths. If we consider a function f defined on open interval a, b in R, the set of real numbers, it's differentiable at a point x0 in that interval if there exists a limit as h tends to 0 of f of x0 plus h minus f of x0 over h and it's a real number. We can say that this limit is the derivative of f at x0. Now, as you know, the derivative at a point is the slope of the tangent to the graph of the function at that point. It's easy to show that if a function is differentiable at x0, then it's also continuous at x0. If we call this p and this q, the contrapositive is that not q implies not p. So, not q if f isn't continuous at x0, implies not p. f isn't differentiable at x0. The first case then for which a function is non-differentiable at a point is when it isn't continuous at that point. Remember, if f is not continuous at x0, as is the case shown here, then it follows immediately that we can't differentiate f at x0. Think about the function f of x equals 1 over x. Now some might say that this function isn't continuous at x equals 0, but that's wrong. x equals 0 isn't in the domain of f, and continuity is only considered at points of the domain. So this function is neither continuous nor discontinuous at x equals 0. In the same way, differentiability is not considered at x equals 0. Let's go to a second case of non-differentiability. For this, we'll go back to the definition of derivative, which means that a limit exists. Not only that, but the lateral limits, in other words, the limits when approaching from the left and the right, must exist and coincide, so that the lateral derivatives also exist and coincide. If the lateral limits exist and are different, this translates graphically to the function showing a cusp, or a corner point. This is possibly the best known case in which a function isn't differentiable at a point. It occurs, for example, when we have an absolute value for the function f of x equals the absolute value of x, for example, going from right to left, the function is maintained when we have positive values of x, but when we reach zero, the function, bam! It bounces up as if there were a wall on the x-axis at x equals 0. There's a sharp peak and the function isn't differentiable at x equals 0. Let's look at a third case and for this we need to review the standard methods or formulas for differentiating simple functions. These are obtained from the definitions of derivative and limit. And I like to say that when these formulas make sense at a point, then the function is differentiable at that point. Consider, for example, the function f of x equals the cube root of x, the domain of which is r. To obtain the derivative, we express the cube root as a fractional exponent, and then apply the well-known rule for differentiating this. The result is that the derivative of x equals 1 over 3 times the cube root of x squared. And what do we find? The expression for the derivative isn't defined at x equals 0. So what's going on? Well, if we look at the graph of f of x and draw the tangent at x equals 0, we see that it's a vertical line. And as you know, a vertical line has a slope that's infinite. 
the derivative has zero in the denominator. And if we recall the definition of a derivative, the limit has to be a real number. If the limit is infinite, the function, in this case f of x equal to the cube root of x, isn't differentiable. So a third case for which a function is non-differentiable at a point is when the tangent to the graph is vertical. Uh, now don't forget this case because many people do. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful and that you'll join me again very soon to discover more maths. Thank you.